In this video, I'm going to show you the best exercises for lower back flexibility. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over some great lower back mobility, flexibility, range of motion exercises that are just going to get everything moving. And it'll also help maintain motion in the back. All of these movements are safe, effective, don't require any special equipment, and can be done in the comfort of your own home. So let's get started and get the lower back moving a lot better right now. This first lower back flexibility stretch is one of my personal favorites because it hits so many muscle groups in such little time. It's known as the bretzel. Let's start off in bed for comfort and bend our knees at 90 degrees just like this. What I want to do is I'm going to take one hand and place it behind the knee that is on top. So my right hand is grabbing at the top, or I should say behind my left knee like this. My left hand is then going to grab onto the ankle like this. So slide the ankle up towards the bottom until you can grab it. From there, the movement is very simple. We're going to pull on both legs like this towards us as far as we can. When you do this, you're going to feel a great stretch into the lower back, the glutes, buttock, back the leg, even into the hip flexors themselves. Go as far as you feel comfortable. And once you hit that point, hold this for 15 to 20 seconds. From there, just relax and then repeat up to three to five times. As a note, every time that you do a repetition, go a little bit further with it because it's going to stretch out those muscles even more to hopefully give you more range of motion into the lower back. If we want to take this to the next level, what we can do is go back into that original stretch, but take the top knee and go down with it. This will cause a little bit more rotation into the lower back, and sometimes you do get a pop or a release. That is quite common. That is just gases being released from the spinal joints. But try to take that knee down as far as you can. Hold this one comfortably for 15 to 20 seconds. Relax, take a breather, and then just repeat. And then from there, you want to switch to the other side to make sure that you keep both sides in balance. This next lower back mobility exercise is a personal favorite for a lot of people because it usually ends with a satisfying pop, crack, or self-release in the back. It's known as the corkscrew, and it's a two-part motion. The first part is very easy. You want to do this one in bed or on the floor. Just lay flat on your back. We're going to bend the knees like this. Feet are going to be flat. I'm going to take my hands to the point where they're going to go straight at the elbow like this, and they're going to overlap almost like you're going to be able to clap. Let's interlock the knuckles like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my upper body in one direction with my arms while my knees go in the opposite direction. This will cause a lot of rotation into the lower back. Only go to your comfort level. You want to go down as far as you feel comfortable with the arms and the knees. Hold this position for about three to five seconds come back up and then you're just going to repeat on the other side. Again, you might get a self pop or crack while doing this. It's just gases being released from the spinal joint. But you want to do this nice, slow and comfortable for about 10 to 15 repetitions on each side. If you feel like you need to take this one to the next level, this is how we can progress into the second part of the corkscrew. I'm going to go to the edge of a bed. This one is best done in bed. Let's take one leg straight down like this while the other leg goes up like this. Bend the knee at 90 degrees. Let's take the hand on the opposite side, grab on the back side of the knee. So my left hand is grabbing on the outside of my right knee. My right arm is going to go straight like this, and I'm going to just simply turn and rotate my upper body along with my head towards one direction while I bring the knee down on the opposite side. So really try to bring that D, or I should say that knee down as much as you can. When you do this, you're going to feel a great stretch into the lower back, glutes, and buttock. Hold this one comfortably for 10 to 15 seconds. You're just going to relax, come back to the starting position, and then repeat this three to five times. Again, go a little bit further with it on the next repetition to open up those joints and stretch out the soft tissue just a little bit more. From there, you want to switch to the other side to make sure everything is kept in balance. So here's a wonderful exercise that's not only going to help improve range of motion in the lower back, but it's also going to help take pressure out of the spinal joints and the spinal discs. 
All we need is a large rolled up bath towel. So let's start with very good upright posture. Let's tuck our chin just a little bit. Let's take the towel from there and what I'm going to do is put it over the small of the lower back. Let's take the two ends and pull them forward as much as we can. This is going to create an anchor for our hips and pelvis and also a pivot point for this extension or backwards movement. The movement is very simple. I'm just going to take my upper body and pivot backwards while I pull forward on the two ends of the towel. You're going to notice that this really stretches out the lower back. Go back as far as you feel comfortable and hold this one for 15 to 20 seconds. Also do nice, slow, controlled breathing while doing this. You really wanna focus on just letting the tension out. From there, you're just going to relax, take a breather, and then just simply repeat three to five times. Each time, go a little bit further with it just to open up those joint spaces and take more pressure out. From there, you can raise the towel up, you can lower it. Experiment with the area and go over achy spots that you feel need a little bit more attention and throw some more reps in there to stretch it out and hopefully reduce a lot of pressure into the lower back. When it comes to lower back pain or just a general locked up lower back, Two overlooked muscle groups are the hip flexors and the quadratus lumborum. So this exercise is going to be able to take care of both at the same time. So you kind of get a twofer. You just need a sturdy chair. I'm going to be using a foldable metal chair. So let's start off with one leg straight like this. The other knee is going to be bent at 90 degrees. The foot is going to be flat on the chair. Let's have also very good upright posture in the lower back. Let's uh, tuck the chin just a little bit like this. The first movement is very simple. You can put the hands on the hips right here. I like to put them on the front of the knee. Let's do a simple lunge. We're just going to take our body weight and lunge forward like this. When we do this, you're going to feel a great stretch in the back of the leg into the hamstring of the straight leg. You're also going to feel a great stretch in the lower back, glute, buttocks, also into the hip flexors. Hold this position comfortably for 15 to 20 seconds. Relax, take a breather, and then repeat three to five times, each time going a little bit further with it to challenge yourself to get everything stretched out. If we want to take this one to the next level, what we can do is go back into that original position, but uh, take our arms up like this and put rotation into it. So I'm going to turn in one certain direction, in this case being my right. When you do this, you're going to feel the muscles get activated just a little bit differently. Try to turn as far as you can. Hold this position again, 15 to 20 seconds. You're just going to relax, and then you're going to repeat this three to five times. From there, you just switch to the other side to keep it in balance. This is how we're going to hit the QL muscle. Let's go back into that position, that lunge position, put our arms out in front of us like this to the point where they're going to be able to clap. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to interlock the knuckles, raise the arms up like this, and then I'm going to do a lateral bend or just bend to one side. The more that you do this, again, you're going to feel those muscles get activated. I feel it all the way from the armpit all the way down to the hip. It's a wonderful stretch. You hold this one for 15 to 20 seconds. You're just going to relax and then switch to the other side. Again, the muscles are going to get really stretched out and activated a little bit differently. Only go to your comfort level. But you want to repeat that three to five times on both sides to keep them in balance. This next lower back flexibility exercise is great because it's going to take a popular yoga pose, the child's pose, but add a little bit more dynamic movement in there to take it to the next level. I'm going to be using a rolling chair for this. If you don't have a rolling chair, a sturdy chair will work. You can use the edge of a bed, a couch, a desk, anything that is flat and sturdy. Let's start off on the knees. So let's put a towel or pillow underneath for extra comfort. The movement is very simple. I'm going to place my hands onto the chair like this and I'm going to outstretch my arms straight at the elbow, roll the chair out, let's tuck our chin towards our chest, and then lower our butt down towards our heels while stretching our arms out as much as we can. When we do this, we're going to feel a great stretch from the upper back all the way down into the lower back to the tailbone if it is tight enough. Go down as far as you're able to go. Hold this position for 15 to 20 seconds. You can hold it longer if you feel comfortable, but you also want to focus on nice controlled breathing. Let the tension out. From there, you're just going to relax, and then you're going to repeat this 
three to five times. Try to take the butt down towards the heels and outstretch your arms on the, even more on the next repetition to open everything up. This is how we're going to really focus on areas that have a lot of tightness or just need a little bit more work. Let's take the chair out just very slightly to one side. So I'm angling it out a little bit towards my right. I'm going to repeat this exercise. When you do this, you're going to notice that the muscles get activated just a little bit differently. Do this for a couple repetitions and then from there take it out even further. Really experiment with these angles and notice which one feels really tight and possibly needs a little bit more work. You can then switch to the other side, go to the left and repeat. But just make note of one certain angle that just feels very, very tight that needs a little bit more work. Throw more repetitions in there so you can target that and hopefully loosen up and build more flexibility into the back. Wonderful way to pinpoint areas that need it the most. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.